Welcome to CNC Machinist Made Easy. Today we're doing a field trip on how to indicate a hole using an edge finder. Not an, a dial indicator, a finger indicator, but yet an edge finder. So let's take a look at what we have right here. I've got our same little handy dandy part right here. Um, let's say instead of this hole, we're gonna make this hole our zero today, and we're gonna use an edge finder to do it. Now, if you have any question about how this edge finder works, go back to my video on edge finders. Uh, but I'm going to display how to find your zero using one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this spindle moving about, like you said, 12 to 1500 miles and uh, 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 inches of uh, uh, revolutions, uh, 12 to 1500 RPMs. And I'm gonna come over here and again, get it close, bring it close down. And I'm gonna just put it somewhere where it, eye, it looks like it's gonna eye up. And get that down in there again refer to my edge finder video if you want to know exactly who, what we're doing here okay what i'm going to do here i mean as far as running how the edge finder works what we're going to do here is come all the way to the left side and we're going to bump that until our edge finder wiggles watch it close there we go see that it wiggle i'm going to do it again watch it close there it is, there it is. You see that? Now, come up here by this dial indicator, or this uh, digital, <laughs> not a dial indicator, my digital readout, and I'm gonna zero it, which I just did. I zero it, okay? Now you're saying, how do you know you're not right in the Y? It's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, in this case, even matter what's, whether you're bumping it off a of 500 thousandths or, or a 200 thousandths block on the edge finder. You'll see why. Bring it back down there. Now I'm going to scoot over, and this is at read zero. I'm going to scoot over to the other side. I'm going to bump it off there too. As long as I don't move the Y, I'm going straight across. Even if I'm not in the center with the Y, it doesn't matter. I'm hitting it at the same X point. There it is, right there. I'll move it back and do it again. There it is, right there. Okay? A number we have right here is 783 thousandths. So I'm going to take my calculator, point. 783 divided by 2 equals 0 0.3915. So now, watch the readout here. I'm going to move that to 0 0.3915. 3915. That's pretty close right there. Now, if you take a look left and right, you can see that is exactly X only in the middle of that hole. So I'm gonna come up here by the indicator now, and I'm gonna zero it, boom. Now I know my X is in, now we'll do the same thing to my Y. Remember, you don't have to be in the center of the hole to start. As long as you don't move the other axis, you can go, you can be right at the very, let me use my hand for an example. You can be right at the very tip of it, ding, bang, bang with your edge finder. As long as you split them differences, it's gonna be in the middle. Then I can come like that, or let's display it down here. If I hit bumped off, use this big circle to try to indicate my zero, and I bumped off from here, as long as when I came to bump off over here, I didn't move my Y, it will split them two numbers up, you'll be right in the middle. Then you just bump the, the Y the same way, and do it, split it, and then you'll be X, Y, right in the middle. Well, let's get the Y in the middle. I'm gonna crank my Y axis here, until I get a little wiggle going. There we go, go back so you see it again. There you go. I'm going to come up here by my digital readout. I'm going to read zero in the Y. Now we'll go back down here and we'll bring it across to the other wall. And here we go. Right there. Okay. I'm going to do it again for you. I always do it by habit to dim. All right. There we have it right there. Now I'll come back up here. I see it's 790 thousandths. I'll take my calculator, I'll clear it out. 0 0.790 divided by two equals 395. 0 0.395, I'll take my little Y axis, I'll crank it to 0 0.395. I'm up a little bit, a little too far. And I will be right there, close enough, Y, and guess what? You are dead in the middle of that hole. X0 and Y0.
using your edge finder. My name is Matt. Thanks for watching CNC Machinists Made Easy.